There was no testing at that time. No, it was then. awesome. And you could get GHB at the store, at the GNC, so it was legal. And I said this in videos before, too. And the GHB, whenever I got it at that stage, was legal. You could buy it right at the GNC, and it was to help you sleep. Steve Regal, another guy that plays uh, kind of a weird role when I see him in the future, and he's all clean, and he acts like he's, I don't know what you're talking about. He's like, well, I was fucking doing GHB in a room with you at 18 years old. You're the one that took me to a fucking massage parlor and stuff like that. So again and Regal might be upset and it maybe it'll affect me getting a job or he won't watch me at PWG if I ever got to go to some of these other promotions because I said something in an interview that was true you know it's like he was my friend nice guy and uh, I really thought he was cool I saw him in the future and I asked him about something and he went right back to the office and told and then Natty came back to me and she said something to me and I knew Steve Regal was the one that went back and stooged me out to the office about me saying something about GHB it was like 15 years later to him and uh, and changed the story, of course, too. So it wasn't accurate what I actually said to him. Wasn't what he said to Triple H or whoever he said it was to. Was he doing the camp at that time? Because I guess he he was he was wrestling in there trying to get, I guess, cleaned up. And he was like one night he had his boots on backwards. He had his boots on the wrong feet, and uh, he told me to be careful. And uh, he gave me good advice and don't don't do these things. Like he was a really nice guy, one of the nicest guys I ever met. When he was Steve Regal, not trying to be a political guy in the WWE giving jobs out and like being a well then they have I mean like Johnny Ace they say he's like a stooge type of guy they have to be that's their job is to report information back to the office so and like I've heard about Fit Finley being the same way Paul London told me a couple stories like I always heard these guys in real life were pretty cool and like Dean Malenko but when they became agents Jamie Noble all these guys who became agents they have a different role and their responsibility is is to basically be uh, you know they was not say tattletales, but their jobs to talk about and report back to the office whatever they see, right?